I make music and I live my truth. <laughs> That's my elevator pitch. <laughs> Me, like the whole DIY thing came from a survival thing. I didn't know anyone. I didn't know like, I didn't know mixers. I didn't even know what mixing was or engineering or any of that stuff was. So when I was in the studio in the basement, I was like, all right, I just want to make a song. So I got to figure out how to make a song. So I had to figure out how to do everything. And it was trial and error for years and years before it sounded good. And then from a business standpoint, you know, you're looking around, you're like, okay, I want my stuff on iTunes. I want my stuff on Spotify. So you just Google. We, I remember me and my best friend, we Googled how do you put your songs on iTunes. And uh, we found TuneCore, which is a digital distribution uh, platform where you can upload your music directly to all the you know, DSPs and everything. I started out making 20 cents a month and then $10 and 40 and 100, and, you know what I'm saying? And it gradually goes up. It's almost like you're running your own label and you have this whole self-sufficient just company going on that's paying you every Friday. I partnered because I had leverage. I got the exact deal that I wanted. I think that's super important for artists to understand that you know, go in there with leverage so you can dictate. You know, I went in and got a profit split. Artists just be jumping at like, yo, he said he's got 300K for me. It's like, bro, like, there's so, like, the advance is the least important part of the deal, you feel me? But labels know what they're doing. They know that if they hang fucking half a million dollars in front of a lot of these kids' faces, they're like, they're jumping at that. And they're like, I don't give a fuck about what else the deal is. But it's like, yo, really? Cause now they're touching your merch and they're touching your touring and like, you know, you might be in a 360 before you even realize it. And it's like, you know. I think the most important trait for an entrepreneur and musician is honestly uh, self-belief. And I think passion too, but I think those kind of go hand in hand. It's so just contagious. And I think it just rubs off on the world around you, whatever world you're trying to get into, I think it just rubs off. It'll rub off in the music. It'll rub off when you're trying to promote the music. And if you're an entrepreneur, it'll rub off like when you're trying to get investors to invest in the company, whatever it is. I think the passion is just contagious and the self-belief and confidence is contagious. The word realistic is terrible. I think it's garbage and limiting. I think realistic, it just puts like these parameters and like these boundaries on like, where you can go. So I think just, I'm not really into that. I think you should just live kind of limitless. And I think when people say, oh, get realistic with this, or that's not realistic, or whatever, it's just like, a lot of times it's them projecting their own fears, I feel like, onto you, so I, I always hate it that way. Just because it's a dream that hasn't happened yet, just because there's no results to show, doesn't mean it's not realistic. 